now I'm going to um, officially open the meeting and go down to minutes after the last meeting. The National Advisory Council on Down Syndrome comprises of 12 adults with Down Syndrome from across Ireland who represent the voice of people with Down Syndrome in Down Syndrome Ireland. The National Advisory Council came together in 2010. And for these adults with Down Syndrome, it would have been the first time that they would have had roles on committees. And so there was a huge education component to the Advisory Council in the early days. We did a lot of work around personal development and around political education so that the group understood who they were uh, or what their rights were as citizens of Ireland and how those rights affected them locally, nationally and at a European level. I'm going to proceed with the agenda. So I am the chairperson of the National Advisory Council. The latest project we did was a tourism guide. We made up the rough copy of the book. We sent us to the designers and they designed the book. We did uh, walking tours around Dublin and then we went to uh, different countries. And the National Secretary of the Council, um, I send them the minutes and the, and the agenda. I ring them about the meeting and see are they available. Myself and Declan went to Brussels, did a presentation in the European Commission. A presentation was about uh, sport, education, voting, tourism. I mean, Brussels, I'm doing. Um PowerPoint presentation with the EU Commission. My opinion, my thoughts is is a um, is EU project to aim to empower people with Down syndrome. The European Union is very relevant because it talks about unity in diversity. Its, its sincere objective as a project was about peace prosperity and stability and the unity of people of different languages, different cultures, recognising their diversity. And what better a platform, if you like, for a group of young adults with Down syndrome to understand, because there is diversity, smart tourism, um, that these young adults want to be able to travel and you don't want your mummy and daddy with you at a certain stage. I know my children don't. So great concept. And I think there's huge potential there if the tourism industry would wake up and listen and provide resources and facilities and all that goes with it. It's a brilliant concept. I mean, the idea of this, my opinion, my vote, is quite a profound statement for all citizens. And you pioneered that and you developed it and you've worked it through. Uh, I think that's really, really important. So I'm delighted that I was in a tiny way involved with a really good group who started out on a journey that they really didn't know where it was going and that's good we all should start on those journeys and we're still not sure where it's going but it was all positive i have a good friend um he's a, a, a td in government of philagil he uh, last friday he called me uh personally asking me um the bill down, down syndrome was being passed to the doll and uh, I'm going to talk about it to the door and uh, he asked for my personal experience what it was like in Main Street Education. In the very early days on the council, uh, myself and my colleague uh, Meg Annan would have had quite a big role in terms of facilitating the group, teaching them about how committee meetings happen, how to run through an agenda, how to record the minutes, um, and how to discuss topics so that everybody in the group could get their point of view across. And we would have played quite a significant role facilitating the group. However, as they grew and developed as, as members of the council and became much more confident in their abilities, our role became less and less. And we now see them facilitating their own meetings, um, undertaking their own projects, and that's done with very minimal support now. Does anything um, we want to add? Be aware of people with Down syndrome to have a voice to the politics and tell them um, ex exactly what we're doing for Ireland. Coming here has been amazing to um, communicate to each other and catch up on chat at the breaks and I think it's really good for people with intellectual disabilities to um, express what it's like uh, living in the community and to have our say in what we feel should go better for us. Um, I'll read some here, it says, 
Dear Miss Troy, thank you for your your letter dated the 28th of January 2011. I'm at task guidelines for preparing easy to read political manifestos. Growing up with Down syndrome, um, we didn't I didn't have enough opportunities because nearly everything was done for you on your behalf and they could be well able and capable to, to do it but they're not given the chance to do it. Independence is a big one and employment. There isn't any, any more job opportunities because nearly every job in the country is taken by so-called normal people. The whole area of independent travel was quite a challenge for some people coming from quite rural areas. But we felt that those members needed to be represented on the group as well. And so Down Syndrome Ireland would encourage all of our members to, to engage in independent travel when they can. I would usually be up around half seven usually. And myself and Thomas would meet up at Tullamore train station. And we would, we would get a particular train. We would travel on the train up together and we play a game of cards or something and then we go through or we might go through, through our notes and then from there we go from Houston Station we get the Lewis out to the office. Hi, Katie Troy and Thomas Gary here. Yeah, come on in. Thank you. Hi, Katie. Hi. I felt a bit negative about having Down syndrome okay. um, because I didn't ask to have Down syndrome and if I had the opportunity I would probably think about it again I, was, I might not be too sure if I wanted to have it or not but there's just two sides to it you probably um, minded more and not being given enough independence because mostly in general people look at the disability not at the ability of the person. Your name has to be on the uh, weather draw? Yeah, um, yeah, so that, that your name is on the registry, yeah? Yeah, uh, for your local uh, county or um, uh, wherever you're from. Yes, I have enjoyed at the committee. It's um, a stepping stone towards the, towards the future. We meet um, w once a month on a Friday. I I'm not just a member of the, of the, of the committee now, but um, I was deputy vice chairman. Uh, it, it was a challenge, but I, I got over it. I love working the com committee. I want to be the treasurer that I like to do, to find the money for the committee uh, meetings, uh, get the receipts, when go in the kitty, and it's just, it's just to get all the money to the bank. Best memories, everyone be here on time and finish on time. For many members of the National Advisory Council, this would have been their first opportunity to work as part of a group or as part of a team with other people with Down syndrome. And as the, the years have passed, we can see the very genuine, real friendships that have emerged for the group. They work very much as a team. They recognise each other's strengths and challenges and that they will support each other. Uh, through the different projects and the different presentations that they do. Basically we all started off working on the Bullying Awareness Campaign. We uh, got a celebrity, David Wallace, involved. It really brings out just to get the message out there that bullying has to stop in, in school playgrounds, in the social media, even at home. My time on the council was um, brilliant and amazing because and outstanding because uh, um, I've been the former chairperson for three years. I've been to many places. I went to Denmark and um, I went to Brussels and um, with the whole group I went to, we all went to America. We done a PowerPoint presentation on, what, on the work that we've done here in Down Center Maryland. All the memories and being on the National Advisory Council too. And I've just really loved it from the beginning, kind of, into the US. And um, we got to see a band that was like a, kind of cool for me too. When I heard we were going to the White House, 
I got so excited the night before. I had to get this shit out, the tie out. This, this, the, I was the first person from my family to go there. So, got there. I was good, got to see the house, got a tour. So all the history and the, uh, and one thing really, really was my highlight was watching President Barack Obama walking from his back door to the helicopter and I was just jumping up with joy. I think for, for people with Down syndrome to actually sit down and create a program that addresses the issues that they see internally is really important. Again, it's about people themselves, nothing about us without us. About literally challenging their parents, their siblings, their community. Uh, we think this is how you feel is completely wrong. We need to ask, how do you feel? And you need to tell us. So the posters gave us huge messages. That's the, um, the first series of Punky when it came out. And that's Punky there, her, her mom and her brother Khan. And cranky. It would be a, quite a unique program to the fact that the character would have Down syndrome. You're different, Punky. You have Down syndrome. Yes, I do. What? What's wrong? I don't need help. I can play. Punky is right. Just because she has Down syndrome, you shouldn't stop her. Down syndrome Ireland could not be more proud of this group of adults with Down syndrome. They have really led the way in, in terms of advocacy and they have had their voice heard and broken down barriers, challenged stereotypes and perceptions and we believe in Down Syndrome Ireland they have made a huge difference in Irish society. The projects they have undertaken has opened up the world to people with Down Syndrome. They've broken down barriers to travel, to accessible information, to voting barriers and as an organisation we are very proud of this, the first National Advisory Council. We look forward to working with many other adults with Down Syndrome from across Ireland in the future. Down Syndrome, do not hold me back.